Okay everyone, now we're getting ready to do the vintage card and I've already assembled the front. Um, I cut out the card base here, it's the purple, then the layer one which is the tan color and the layer two which is the green and the numbers and I've added brads and twine and I used my birth year and um, we're going to go ahead and assemble the the inside here. Now you've got two panels for the inside. This is layer one and this is layer two. And you're just gonna go ahead and glue on layer one into the inside. And there you go. And then you're gonna glue on layer two. I've already stamped on my sentiment on the inside. I left some room down at the bottom there for you to do that. And uh, just go ahead and center that on there. Just like that. You can even pop it up with foam pop-up dots or any foam tape. But, um, be careful because it might cost more to send it in the mail if you're mailing it. So there's the card and it matches with the vintage bag. So that's a cute gift to give, something handmade. And then here is the envelope. I've already cut it out. You're going to bend all your score marks here. Okay, and now we're just going to glue the bottom to the sides and this will create the envelope. Okay. And then there's the top. Now this is a greeting card size card. It is 5 by 7 I believe and it fits perfectly into the envelope here. And go ahead and close it. And there you go. And they're sure to love it. You can, there's elements in this set where you can cut them out and add a wine bottle or wine glass, um, whatever you like. Okay, now we're getting ready to do the wine cask gift box. I've already done the top. And this is what half of it will look like. So let's get started. I've already glued down some of the panels. I decided to alternate. It is a nine-sided box, so it will not be even coming out, um, but it's still going to look cute. So what you're going to do is first you'll want to glue all of your panels on to your sides for top and bottom. And they do vary in the size, so very slightly. So keep track of what goes where. Okay, got those on. Now I've already assembled half of this. Um, I'm going to show you how to start to put it together. You're going to want to fold all of your score marks. Okay, I've already done that. Okay, now you're going to take glue and you're going to glue this tab right here. And you're just going to glue it down together. And you're going to do that for all of them. Now that these are all glued down, I should mention that you want to first glue these together and then 
glue the tops together. It'll probably be easier for you. But I'm going to glue them together right now. And you just line up your score marks and glue down. Try to get it as perfect as possible. A little bit more glue on there. And probably too much. Yeah, too much. I didn't line it up perfectly. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to do the other side. And line it up and glue it down. Okay. Now that they're all glued down, push down the tabs on the top so we can put the top on. Here's the top, and this is the top for the bottom. <clears throat> this is the trim. I've already glued it down, and we're just going to start to glue it to the top here. to put your hand inside and do this so that you can line them up and push it down so it stays in place. down since it's all lined up already and push it down from the inside. Okay. And there's the bottom right there. Okay, now we have two of these and they fit together. The bottom fits inside of the top. show you when I'm finished all the way. Okay, now included in the trim is these long, um, there's two sets of these long trims and you're going to glue them together. You want to line it up where the angle where it starts to angle so that you can get all the way around the box. Now, this side of what you want to put the top on. Now we're going to wrap the band around. I've already done it on this one right here. I didn't glue it all the way down and it's slipping. I should have I only glued it down where it met at, but where I started it. But I'm going to glue it, start to glue it down. I'm going to start it where I started the other one. Right here. I was just going to go on the bottom edge of the, um, the top portion of this box. And we're just going to keep wrapping it around here. I might want to use double-sided tape. I probably should have done that. Might be a lot easier. The glue is slipping. OK. 
Okay. And just go all the way around it. You can pinch it at the creases here so that it looks more uniform to the box. Or you can leave it um, loose. That's up to you. Whatever you like. Okay, and that's done. Now we're going to be working on the spout. The spout is this, okay? We're going to take this piece right here and we're just going to glue it together. It folds in the middle. So we're going to glue from here over. And we're just going to flip it over and glue it together. It should line up perfectly, which it did. And then you're going to fold these back, but we're going to keep them together while we push it through the face of here, of the circle. Um, now we're going to glue down the tabs here to the back of the circle. Okay, got that done. All we did was glue these tabs down. Now it's going to, we're going to take these. There's four of these shapes, the handle of the spigot, and we're just going to fold them all in half. Okay, you're going to take two of them and glue them together on one side just like that okay the other one okay and there we go now we're going to glue it to the spigot that we just glued together. And it's just going to go right on the top here, just like this, to make it look 3D. Okay. Okay. And to the other side. Okay, and there we go. Now we have the spigot. And what we're going to do is we're just going to glue it to either side. It doesn't matter which side you glue it to. I'm going to glue mine to the top. And you just try to center it as much as you can. You'll want to make sure that this is pointing down to a flat face so that when it's sitting on one of its sides that it will be pointing the right way. And there we go. There's the wine cask box. And um, fill it with chocolates. Chocolate pairs really well with wine. Um, having a wine party, wine tasting party, or this could even be used for beer, a barrel of monkeys. Um, in fact, you can use the free file of the week, which is one of the barrel of monkey monkeys. And I will be making another barrel, filling it with those for my son, Ethan. So there you go. And that's the Age to Perfection SVG collection.